why are ethical principles important to combat climate change? That's because climate change is very complex. It has many causes, many consequences, and it's very difficult to link them. For example, you cannot say that that emission causes that flood. And there's also the factor of time, for example, because climate change is very slow. Because even if we stop emissions today, uh, the next generations will still continue to suffer from the emissions that already took place. Because climate is not like a pan of boiling water that stops boiling when you turn off the gas. And so that's why uh, ethics is very important because it is a technique, a philosophical technique, that uh, can help you to take a step back to have a broader view of what the causes and the consequences are of the actions that you can undertake. Uh, for example, if you have a, a house or a factory or a neighborhood that is flooded every time, um, you could build a dike around it. That's what we used to do in the Netherlands. But when you do that, you send the water somewhere else, maybe to people who don't have the money to uh, build a dike. So if you take into account the ethical principle that you should avoid harm as much as possible for everyone, then maybe you can invent other ideas, like we did in the Netherlands, because even though we have very little space, what we started doing is we started digging new branches next to the river so that when there's more water, the water can flow through that extra branch. And uh, we call that room for the rivers. I think this is a nice example of uh, how ethics can be useful to deal with a very complex situation that is called climate change, because it, uh, it enables you to take the step back that you need to have a good overview of the situation and to take the right decisions. So what should be the next step after the adoption of this UNESCO declaration on the ethical principles of climate change? I think the first step is the Paris Agreement. Uh, that is really the place where all the countries came together to make their commitments to do something concrete about climate change. And uh, what the countries need to do now is they need to sit around the table and determine what we call their nationally determined contributions, their NDCs, uh, which is their uh, concrete measures against climate change. And uh, the next step is that we can use the UNESCO declaration to do this job better, because the Paris Agreement is very um, concrete. Uh, for example, it says that we need more uh, climate science, which is very logical, because if you want to combat uh, climate change, you need more science. But the ethical question to ask here it would be, uh, who is going to benefit from that science? And where is all this knowledge going to go to? Is it going to go to scientists or uh, to citizens or to governments or to companies or to NGOs? And so this is a very important question because uh, combating climate change is not only about uh, limiting pollution, but also making sure that information gets to the right places. So my answer to the question what is the next step? Is that uh, when countries uh, start discussing their NDCs, they should take this UNESCO declaration and use it as a kind of a checklist to make sure that they make the right choices. I think that that is uh, the best way to make this uh, declaration useful.